Hey, we're at Green Canyon tonight for the final Valley Channel game of the week of the decade. That's right, last one of the year, last one of the decade. It's been a great decade, great year for Valley sports. And tonight it's Bonneville at Green Canyon. Both of these teams aggressive. They like to get up and down the court. They like to play tough defense. And really, we could see some interesting tempo tonight. Could be a very up-tempo game. For Green Canyon, they were first in the region last year. Great, uh, great season by the Wolves. They ended up losing in the quarterfinals by two. This year, they average almost 10 three-pointers per game, and they have four scores, that's four players that score in double figures, averaging double figures in each game. They've got one of the top three-point shooters in 4A as well on their side. So it could be a really interesting game tonight in North Logan. It's Green Canyon and Bonneville coming up next on the Game of the Week. Life's more than a race to the finish. It's the power to choose what you do and a trainer for where you go. Welcome to Thailand. So glad that you joined me. Ready to get started? Let's go. It's having a friend guiding you on the journey as a partner with a plan built specifically for you on any day for every day. It's someone there for every weight, lift, and lunge, and every flex, push, and crunch. Nice work, you guys. It's motivation, inspiring you mentally and physically. Good, a companion for the downhills and the uphills. A coach for the tough days Keep going. and the easy days. I know. Showing you new things and taking you to new places. Because with your trainers, fitness is an adventure. Great job. This view is your reward. I'll see you again tomorrow for another amazing workout. The X22i from Nordic Track. Your life, your trainers. Your password is password, and everything you own is gray, Mike. I thought you liked basic, Mike. That was before I had Wendy's made to crave chicken sandwiches. Now I know I can do better than basic. Upgrade from basic with three new sandwiches on Wendy's made to crave menu. The barbecue chicken sandwich, avocado BLT chicken sandwich, and the sauce and bacon chicken sandwich. At Wendy's, we got you. I need to take a long drive at exactly the speed limit. Well, Coach, New Year, things keep marching on. I saw a quote by you in a preview somewhere that said, uh, you talked about how you, you've lost that crew that helped open up the school and, and start the program out with you, and now you turn it over to a new group. Can you talk about that just a little bit, losing those guys who were so successful over a couple of years, and then this new crew coming up? Yeah, you know, I think our, our program owes a lot um, to that crew that, that graduated last year. You know, they were they were a big part of what we were doing for for two years, both both years. Um, we played a lot of juniors two years ago, and then obviously they were seniors last year. And just I, I feel like they got our program off to a fantastic start. They helped build the identity that I I wanted us to build. I was hopeful we would build um, in the fact that we we play really fast, we play really hard, and we play the right way. We share the ball, and and I, we really fortunate to have that group a lot of you know they were they were awesome awesome to coach and really fun to coach and yeah we you know we're starting a new group now we've um, early in the year you could see it was kind of a struggle um, mixing and, and some new guys in and trying to figure out how to play together and I feel like we've, we've I hopefully turned a corner the last maybe four or five games where we've started to play really well I really like um, how we're playing right now um, and they've kind of just I, I think taken on that identity that was built by that graduating group from last year and and we're playing well you guys will let it fly you're averaging about 10 made three-pointers per game as a team and you got two of the top 10 three-point shooters in 4a on your team and the DeBoard brothers yeah it's it's certainly that's that's our identity that's what we like to do um, and that's just personnel based it's just we have guys that can do it so that's just, that's how we're gonna play um, but a lot of that comes back to the fact that we've got guys that will share the ball they make the extra pass we've got guys that and we've got good shooters that pass up a good shot for a better shot um, and and when we, when the ball's moving for us um, we, we look really good and and yeah I'm blessed to have a lot of really good shooters so it's it's nice Bonneville plays aggressively uh, defensively how do your guys re, uh, adjust to that yeah Bonneville uh, they, they were 
probably the most like fundamentally sound defensive team that that maybe will play on our on our schedule. Coach Bollinger does a really good job of of, of coaching defense, and what what we're hoping to do, and it's going to be a challenge, is just we have to get by them off the dribble to create some help and then some kick opportunities. But I, you know, we've preached that's not going to happen on a first pass. It may not happen on a second or third pass. We've got to move the ball and hopefully get them scrambling so that we can get to our dribble drive game, which then we can finish at the rim or, or hit some kick threes. All right, Coach, good luck tonight. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Say the word base. Say the word mess. At Cache Valley Hearing and Audiology, we believe in a very thorough hearing test. Do you hear ringing noises? Does any member of your family have hearing loss? Do you have frequent or severe headaches? Any numbness in your face or fingertips? Do loud sounds hurt your ears? Were you in the military? Have you ever had your hearing tested before? No, I have not. Say the word mousetrap. Say the word baseball. Say the word airplane. Say the word cowboy. It also told us if you had a hold, I was able to make the words in the rest of the What are all the rest of the... Okay. Bring back what you've been missing. Bring back Cash Valley hearing and audiology. The Game of the Week on the Valley Channel is brought to you by Icon Health and Fitness, changing lives with fitness innovation. Wendy's of Cache Valley, it's way better than fast food, it's Wendy's. Mountain Star Cache Valley Hospital, together we're greater. New Smile Dental, experience dental care. Cache Valley Hearing and Audiology, bring back what you've been missing. Palmer Home Furnishings, our low overhead means higher quality at lower prices. Aspen Dental, get that gorgeous smile you've always wanted. KSM means music, music is all we do. Four Seasons Apartments and Townhomes is your home. Anderson Seed and Garden, growing better gardeners. Factory Pizzeria, we're open late after the game. The Logo Shop, we logo stuff, all kinds of stuff. And the Valley Channel, Cash Valley's TV station for over 25 years. Hello and welcome to the Game of the Week on the Valley Channel tonight. Green Canyon hosting Bonneville. We're in the Den in North Logan, home of the Wolves, on a festive pre-Christmas evening. I'm Eric Olson. I'll be with you all night and all season on the Game of the Week of the Valley Channel as we wind out the decade here, the last game of the week of the teens decade, from 2010 to 2019. We'll be back again after the first after the new year, but tonight it's Bonneville and Green Canyon, a Green Canyon team that can get up and down the court, that can fire away, and they can play some pretty good defense too, and defense is the calling card for Bonneville. Bonneville plays tough defense, and they will really try to slow down this Green Canyon attack. You heard Coach McClure just a few minutes ago talking about what they're going to try to do against the Bonneville Lakers, both of these teams coming in, Bonneville at four and four, and Green Canyon at four and three. We're gonna take a quick timeout, come back and talk a little bit more about tonight's matchup and have the opening uh, tip. You're watching the Game of the Week on the Valley Channel. went to the Star Hospital to get his back fixed. The doctor used a robot to make a mini invasion. That's pretty cool. When Grandpa had his old back, he just laid on the couch and watched the news. But now we do cool stuff like fishing and hiking. We provide comprehensive spine care and minimally invasive orthopedic procedures at eight Star Hospitals all along the Wasatch Front. Look for the star. Wonder where they keep all the robots. So, you bought your computer from one of those big box stores, or online, 
and now it's really slow. Or just not working right. Targets acquired. PCs Unlimited can fix it. Fixing computers is what we do, and we've been doing it for over 20 years. Service, repair, diagnostics, networking, upgrades, system and data recovery, all your computer needs. Our prices are low, and our customer service is the best. You won't get help from the big box or online. Come see the professionals at PCs Unlimited. The National Anthem here at Green Canyon. Bonneville coming in at four and four on the season. They're region five, five A Green Canyon is four and three. Region 11 of four A Bonneville coming off a 61-58 loss to Skyview on Tuesday. Jordan City leads this team at 14 points per game. The Lakers have wins over Clearfield, Roy, Ben Loman, and Ogden with losses to Logan, Skyview. Northridge and Weber. Matt Tesh, a 6'2 junior, averages eight points per game. And he'll start for the Lakers, along with Luke Dixon, a 5'9 junior, also averaging eight points per game. Caleb Nielsen, the junior, gets the start. And number 23, Jordan City. The junior, 14 Jerem points per Strait. game. And Jerem Strait at six foot seven, six points per game, will man the middle. Bonneville's coached by Kyle Bullinger. Six-foot sophomore, 16 points per game, one of those four double-digit scores. Carter Maughan is six-foot-one. He's a senior. He averages 11 points per game. Those two, McKay Jorgensen, six foot senior, 12 points per, per ball game for number 21. Their size comes in the form of Caleb Robeson. Robeson is six foot six, he's a senior, five points per game. Rounding out the starting five, Cole DeBoer, the 6'2 senior, 11 points per game. Number 44 was in the rotation at Skyview last year and now he and his brother Cole are here Cole and Cade that's Cole his brother Cade is here with him at Green Canyon and they're both in the top 10 in three-pointers made in 4a they brought a scoring punch with them Drayton Robeson getting set to tip it off. 
13 feet of fun right there, standing on the Wolf's head. Mon grabs the opening tip, races to the bucket, and gets two points in the first three seconds. Here come the Lakers. It's taken away by DeBoer. Jorgensen goes back up top to Cade DeBoer. DeBoer in three-point country, finds Cole DeBoer. Now back to Jorgensen, and he'll set things up. High post angle to DeBoer. Hands it back off to Cade DeBoer. Here's Jorgensen to the rim. Left hand, got it, and he'll go to the line. You see the headband on Jorgensen. When these teams were out here warming up, there was about seven of them wearing headbands. He smacked heads with one of his teammates in uh, practice earlier. Earlier this week, cut his eye open. They, instead of stitching it shut, they glued it shut. And they said, you got to keep that thing dry. Well, I guess he's a prolific sweater <laughs> as he makes the free throw. So he's trying to figure out a way, and the foul is going to be on Jorgensen. They were trying to figure out a way to keep that glue dry. So he decided to try the headband. And he had the headband on and during warm-ups, most of the rest of the team was wearing headbands in solidarity with Jorgensen. He picks up the foul after the three-point play. And Bonneville trails 5-0. We've played just over a minute, and they're looking to get on the board. To the rim, the layup from the left side is good for Tesh. DeBoer steps back, short, rebounded by Tesh. Tesh looks ahead for Dixon but keeps it. Now in the corner, three-pointer on the way, is too long. Carter Mon rebounds the miss by Nielsen. Down low, Jorgensen is surrounded, so he kicks it back out front to Mon. DeBoer didn't see it coming, and it's a turnover. Each team with a turnover, 5-2. Green Canyon leads Bonneville with 6-10 to play in the first quarter. Bonneville still trying to get the ball across the timeline. They barely beat the clock. City passes it over, then it's turned over. Mon leaves it for Jorgensen. Three on the way from DeBoer. Too hard, rebounded by Straight. Here's the bump out front. Cade DeBoer, the sophomore, is going to pick up the foul. Tesh drew the harm. And it'll trigger inbounds underneath. Dixon will do the honors. Out to City. Down low, they go to straight, straight. Nothing doing, so he kicks it out in the short corner. Jumper won't go to board with a nice block out of the big man straight, but somehow straight ends up with it. Bonneville getting their hands on the loose ball, and City fires up a long three. It's short, rebounded by Mon. Jorgensen on the left side, now goes up top to DeBoer. Cade DeBoer behind the back, get it back, put it up, won't go. Oh, baby. That would have been a heck of a play by the sophomore. He'll go to the line after drawing the foul. The foul was on straight. And Cade DeBoer misses the first free throw. DeBoer wasting no time at the free throw line. Steps in, hits one of two, 6-2, Green Canyon. City looks at a three, drives into trouble. Hands it back for the little floater. More of a push shot by Tesh that won't go when it's rebounded out of there. The board hands it to Jorgensen. And now Mon comes to get it. Hands it back to Cade DeBoer. 
Cade to board three, Cole to board 44. Cole to board with the ball. Down low. The Wolves get on the board again. That's Carter Mon. he's got four. It's 8-2 Green Canyon. Nielsen looking for help. It's swatted out of there by Robeson as Tesh turned around into trouble. City will throw in bounds, standing at the end of the Green Canyon bench. Straight finds Dixon. Nielsen back out to Dixon. City waiting for Cutters. He's got Nielsen behind a screen. Nielsen down the lane. Lay it up off balance, won't go. Rebound fought for. Nielsen comes back up with it. Dixon, three ball. Too hard, rebound Bonneville. Back to back offensive rebounds and Dixon sets it up again. 340 to play in the first period. 8-2 Green Canyon. Nielsen tries to spin back in the middle. Good D by Jorgensen. The three by the big won't go. Sneaking in is Tesh for the rebound. Now Robeson finally gets his hands on it and he's fouled. That's going to be on Tesh, his first. Three team fouls on Bonneville. DeBoard backs up for a three straight away. Too hard, rebound tracked down by Nielsen. He'll give it off to City, and here come the Lakers. Three minutes to play in the first period. City shaking bacon, but nothing there for him. All the way to the rim with the left hand goes Nielsen, and Robeson comes up with the board. Stolen away by City. He kicks it out to Nielsen. Good closeout defense by Jorgensen. Dixon's going to try the middle. Little scoop shot is good. 8-4 Green Canyon. Under two and a half to play in the first period. Both teams having a little bit of trouble finding the range. Mon with four points. Gives it off to Cade DeBoer. Long three. Got it. DeBoer with four points. The first three of the ball game, and it's 11-4 Green Canyon. Here's a foul as Mon bumped into Nielsen. Mon came at Nielsen like he was shot out of a cannon, and Nielsen instead of keeping going up the court, stopped and went ver uh, horizontal, and Mon ran into him. Nathan Burdett into the ball game right now for Bonneville. Jordan Alder in the pink shoes comes in for Green Canyon. Lundin's in there as well, number 24. Rebound knocked away by Lundin. Lundin out front to Jorgensen. Jorgensen, pull up jumper from the free throw line, won't go. Rebound attempt by Robeson and he knocks it out of bounds. Laker ball trailing 11-4. 90 seconds to play in the first period. Here at Green Canyon. Dixon across the timeline. Green Canyon trying to trap. City, three, got it. Four point Green Canyon lead at 11-7 as we approach the one minute mark of this first quarter. Lundin finds DeBoer. 
Board looks into Romeson, and he walked. He leaned back to try to find the defender on his hip, and the defender had backed off, and he shuffled his feet as he lost balance. And it's a turnover, the second one of the game for Green Canyon. Under a minute to play now, a four-point Green Canyon lead. The city throws to Dixon into the front court. Here's Tesh. Leaves it off. Defender up in the air. Shot won't go, and Lundin comes out of there with it. Lundin's been aggressive on the boards. And Jorgensen looks to the bench, and Coach McClure says one shot. And he's going to hold for one. Now he's... Now McClure calls the play with 20 seconds to play in the quarter. Mon will hold. Back to Jorgensen. Jorgensen down the middle, out to Alder. Back to Jorgensen, short corner jumper, won't go, rebound tapped out by Lundin. Dixon has it, no shot, and we go to the second quarter with Green Canyon leading Bonneville, 11-7. You're watching the Game of the Week on the Valley Channel. Hi, Cash Valley. This is Fernando over the factory at Pizzeria. We're running a special right now. We're giving a free nachos when you buy a large pizza with three toppings. Just mention this up and you're going to get a free nachos every time you come. The factory Pizzeria is located in 119 South Main, below the Gia's in the basement. Come see as soon as you can. Thank you. Back at Green Canyon, Eric Wilson along with you as the Wolves lead the Lakers 11-7 as we just get ready to start this second quarter. Ugly sweater night here. And the cheerleading squad, the cheer and stunt squad, uh, they got the ugly sweaters going. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Green Canyon comes in four and three, wins over Judge, Star Valley, Century, which is up in the Boise area, Ogden, and losses to Box Elders, a very good 5A team, Roy and Middleton, another team up in the Boise area. They lost to Middleton by two. Those were in the Preston tournament, those games against Middleton and Century. We start the second quarter, City handles for the Lakers. And Bonneville trails 11-7. Neither team shooting the ball particularly well. They go inside to straight, and he rolls it over the lip. Jerem straight for two. Jerem straight with his first points of the game. Cole DeBoard back into the ball game. He rested there at the end of that first quarter. And he'll go to work, spins to his right, turns, fires, hits. Um, 
13-9 Green Canyon as they bring out a trapping defense. City finds Tesh. Tesh kicks it back to straight, straight. Cleared out with that left hand and they caught him. That's an offensive foul on Jerem Strait, his second. And it's a turnover, the third for Bonneville. Boston Bauer replaces Strait. Bauer number 33. Averaging a bucket a game at six feet tall. He's a junior, only one senior on this Bonneville team. It's a young team. Here's a foul on Bonneville. It's gonna be on Tesh, that's his second. Tyler Hancock's the only senior on this Bonneville team and he's not playing tonight. Not out there, not sure why. I didn't hear from the coaches, not sure if he's injured. But. Dixon was the region defensive player of the year last year. Number four for Bonneville. He's keeping an eye on Carter Mon who has the ball right now, Mon. Alder to DeBoard, Mon's in the corner. Passes up the three, goes behind his back, DeBoard, jab step, fire, and hit. DeBoard with the triple, and it's 16-9 Green Canyon. Two minutes gone here in this second quarter. High post thrown away by Burdett. Burdett was looking in the corner for Dixon. And Dixon wasn't there. Amon will throw in to Cade DeBoard. So Cade and Cole DeBoard back on the court together, joining Lundin Jorgensen and Carter Mon. Lundin hands it off to DeBoer. Here's Jorgensen. Jorgensen. Working on Dixon, passes it back out to DeBoer. DeBoer, Jorgensen, firing the three, hitting the three. Now the three ball dropping for the Wolves. Timeout, Bonneville, as Green Canyon's built a 10 point lead, 19 9, with 5.34 to play here in this first half. Bonneville was 17 and seven last year. They were second in region five, nine and three, their record. They lost to Bear River by one in the 5A semifinals. Dixon, Hancock, and City all played last year. When I talk about Dixon, it was actually Hancock that was the region 11 defensive player of the year last year. That was the 4A, they were actually 4A last year. They were 5A this year. They've changed up the changed up the regions. Cole DeBoard's hit a three-pointer already tonight. He had six threes against Middleton and 20 points in that game. His brother Cade had eight three-pointers in a game against Judge earlier this season. Nielsen. Finds a streaking Burdett who lays it up and in. Lundeen quickly the other way. Burdett cuts him off. Lundeen up and under, he walked. Lundeen had such a good year as a football player, as the quarterback. Put in that role late in the preseason, well, just before the season started. The way they were playing him toward the end of the season, I wondered if he had a little bit of an injury. They weren't using him as much as we'd seen him use through the season, but he looks all right out there now. Just a junior, he'll be back next year. He was one of the leading rushers in 4A. Dixon, 
Walked. Oh, they're going to call a foul. He bumped by DeBoard. He got Lundeen in the air, then drove by him, and DeBoard picks up the foul. Cole DeBoard with his first. Four team fouls on Green Canyon, five on Bonneville as Bonneville takes Bauer and Burdett out of the game. Straight comes back in along with Nielsen. So Nielsen, Tesh, Dixon and Straight. Here's Mon off the steal, the run out. Won't go, but he'll go to the line as City. Fouls him for his first. It's five turnovers now for Bonneville. 4.46 to play here in this first half, 19-11. Green Canyon with the lead, their largest lead's been 10. Two for three from the free throw line for Green Canyon in the early going. Bonneville's yet to go to the strike as Mon hits the first. Mon hits them both. He's got six points. And it's 21-11, Green Canyon. Dixon holds. He's working on Brady Smith, who's in there, number 23 for Green Canyon. City looking for an opening. Can't find one. Gives off to Nielsen. Good defense by Smith. He tries to turn inside. DeBoard's there. Tesh with the three straight away. And Cade DeBoard with the rebound. Jorgensen back out to DeBoard. DeBoard fakes the three inside. Now back out to Mon. Draw and kick for Green Canyon. DeBoard behind his back. Friendly, friendly bounce. And it's a 12 point Green Canyon lead. Three and a half to play in the half. City looks low to straight. Now he's got him against Jorgensen, straight. Leans in, hits the deck, he'll go to the line. They're gonna call it on Smith who came in to help. And the first free throws of the night for Bonneville come at the 326 mark of the first half. Straight gets two. Straight connects on both free throws. Back to a 10 point lead for Green Canyon. Mon to DeBoard, DeBoard. Mon tries to drive around straight. Corner three from Jorgensen, rims out. Rebounded by Tesh. Tesh to Dixon in the corner to Nielsen. Nielsen works on Jorgensen. Smith's there to help with the double, so the handoff to City. City gets by Smith to the rim. City with five. He's their leading scorer, averages 14 a game. 23 15, Green Canyon. 2.40 to play in the half. DeBoer kicks out to Mon. Mon. To the middle, has it blocked. Out front, City leaks out, lays it up, hits it. City barely had time to catch that, figure out where he was, and just throw it at the rim. 23-17 now. It was a 12-point lead. It's down to six for Green Canyon. Jorgensen works on Dixon, turns in and scores. Eight for Jorgensen. Two minutes to play in the half, 25-17, Green Canyon. Robinson getting set to check in as straight turns and hits. They sagged off straight, so he said, oh, I can shoot that, and he did. 
not only, not only did he shoot it, he hit it. Any player can shoot any shot. It's the hitting it that's the big deal. 25-19, DeBoard, three won't go. He's got one three-pointer, does Cade DeBoard. Nielsen, left side layup, rolls around and out. He'll go to the line. And that's going to be another foul on Brady Smith, his second. Six team fouls on Green Canyon, six on Bonneville. And Caleb Nielsen goes to the line, the junior. Misses the first. One more for Nielsen. Crawls that one over the front of the rim. And the whistle blows and it's a timeout. Bonneville, 25-20, our score, a 30-second timeout for the Lakers. As Bauer and Burdett get set to check in after the timeout for Bonneville. 128 to play here in this first half. Bonneville 5A, Region 5, and the Wolves have Green Canyon, Region 11 of 4A. We talked about those three-pointers and how Cade DeBoard had eight in that game against Judge. He had 26 points in that game. If you look at their three-point breakdown, the first game of the season, they, had, they only hit four. Against Roy, they hit six. Against Judge, they hit 14. Against Middleton, they hit 10. Star Valley, they hit 16. Against Century, 6. And against Ogden, 10. Cade DeBoard had five in that game. Had 66 three-pointers made, 9.4 per game. Cade DeBoard is second in 4A and threes made. He makes three and a half per game. Cole DeBoard is seventh. He makes two and a half per game. I keep bringing that up because you expect the three ball to go down. They've hit three here in this first half. They look low to Robison, and we've got a foul. And they're going to call it on Burdett. And that's going to be team foul number seven, so Robison will go to the line. One and one for Robinson, he misses. So it remains a five point lead for Green Canyon. Bonneville with the ball. City's got seven points. Fires that one up, no good. Rebounded by Jorgensen. Under a minute to play as Jorgensen crosses the timeline. Mon steps into a long three. Nine for Carter Mon. And it's back out to an eight point advantage for Green Canyon. Nielsen decides not to give it to City. He goes to Bauer, Bauer across the middle. Dixon fires the three, won't go. Rebounded by Cade DeBoer. 20 seconds to play in the half. Coach McClure says, slow it down. Jorgensen holds, stands on the Wolf logo with nine seconds. Working against Dixon. Jorgensen to the rim, tripped up, down he goes. He's got free throws. Both teams in the bonus. Jorgensen with one and one. He's got a headband to keep the sweat out of the cut on his eye. He's wearing a some wrap on his right hand. He just fell down and his leg hurts. He's a walking bruise. <laughs> Jorgensen averages 12 points per game. He's got eight, now nine. Yeah. 
Kaminsky and Carter Mon leading the way with all scores with nine points. Jorgensen's got a chance to get into double figures before the half. And he does. 10 for Jorgensen to lead all scores. Two seconds, one second. Nielsen at the buzzer, won't go. And the Wolves take a 10 point lead into the locker room, 30 to 20 over Bonneville. As we head to the half, you're watching the game of the week on the Valley Channel. starting to lose our hearing is it genetic is it environmental what what's happening to us there's many things genetics can take a part of it and uh, certain medications or toxic drugs uh, but most of it's just life living living in general we go to a concert here we go to a, a motorcycle rally we ride a motorcycle we're exposed to all these loud sounds loud music but it all takes a little bit of hearing a little bit here a little bit there we don't notice it it's so slowly happening and it's painless and over time just that little bit compounds and pretty soon we have a significant hearing loss that's affecting our ability to communicate with our loved ones if you are experiencing any kind of problem be you my age or be you younger why don't you give dr danes uh, a call here at cash valley hearing tell us where we are dr danes and how they can get hold of you we're at 485 north main street in logan uh, and you can just give us a call at 435-753-4327 we're at 753-h-e-a-r here that's a good, <laughs> that's very apt. Yeah, I should say so. Uh, any kind of hearing loss, and literally, please don't let this um, feeling of embarrassment or it not being manly or cool, that's, you know, that's a bit dim. Y you shouldn't be embarrassed about something that is a natural aging process. It's right? actually more noticeable when you don't hear and have to that's have people to repeat themselves. That's true. And extremely irritating for those around you that are having to repeat it time and time again. Thanks so much, Dr. Danes. And seriously, guys, give Dr. Danes a call. Your hearing problems will be solved. Thanks, Dr. Danes. right here that you are imaging services and representing them this evening. What kind of imaging services do you offer here at Cache Valley Hospital? We offer CT, MRI, ultrasound, uh, mammography and x-ray. Okay. When people say, for example, want a mammography and, uh, or a mammogram done and it's kind of traumatic for people to come in and get them sometimes, how quickly can you get them in so there isn't that elongated waiting period? Uh, we do walk-in mammograms. You don't need any um, order from your physician. Um, as long as you're not having any problems, symptoms of any, any kind, uh, we can do a screening mammogram and it takes about five to ten minutes. Okay. Um, you can walk right in, get registered. The whole process should be in and out about 15 minutes or so. Wow, and you also have 3D f uh, options now too, or coming yes, anyway. Yes, yes, and the 3D technology is great for women that have the dense breast tissue, um, really crucial in catching uh, breast cancer s Early. sooner. Yeah, yes. definitely. And is that kind of the same situation with all the facilities that you have, the, in, um, the MRIs, for example? How quickly does somebody get put in? Uh, we try to get you in that week, if okay. possible. A lot of that will require a lot of authorization from your health insurance yeah. at times. But you take lots of insurances here? We do. Yeah, pretty much all of them. As, yeah, as many as we possibly can. Yeah. So if you're looking for somewhere friendly and kind of, you're still kind of small yet compared to some of the other hospitals in the region, which is fine because you're going to get that really personalized one-on-one -on -one, uh, treatment. Come on down here to Cash Valley Hospital. Jill would be happy to make you an appointment for a mammogram or any of the other facilities that they have. Right, Jill? I will. Thank you so much. Thank you.
you have to love what you do in order to put yourself 100% into it. When I was in the hospital for several weeks, I always said to myself, while I am here, I can do what I want and I want to do what I can. He had an arteriovascular malformation. It was in the part of the brain that deals with vision. When we went to the hospital and they did a CAT scan, they immediately saw that it was quite serious. It was very scary for a while. I couldn't see from the side. It seemed like I'd lost all my peripheral vision. There's nothing worse to, than seeing your child sick in the hospital. There's nothing worse. But I think it really helped to define him. Because of this vision cut, he felt like he had blinders on. It gave him the drive and the desire to look more broadly in everything that he does. Tennis really came about from that, because tennis was one of the few sports that I was cleared to play. I just hit hundreds and maybe even thousands of balls that summer. If you try your best, then no one can ever knock you for anything. After each match when he would lose, he'd get in the car and he'd say, when's the next tournament? He was less afraid to fail on other things he did, you know, whether it was playing a new instrument or trying to launch his very ambitious fundraising campaign. It relates to the fire within or the hunger, the desire to do something. Patrick has that hunger within him. Never um, said be satisfied to always keep striving for more. All these kids have passion for something and that's what they're really showing the world. We're living now, so we need to make the most of it now. Some people take it upon themselves to be great. Yeah. I think Patrick is one of those people. That I don't think he's setting out, I want to be great. I think he's setting out, I want to be a good person. I want to make a difference. Greatness has to do with how big of an impact you've had on, a, on the community and other people. This guy it can do anything else. Gauging my best is not actually possible, but just knowing that I can continually push myself and hopefully reach that best is what I'm trying to do. Your password is password, and everything you own is gray, Mike. I thought you liked basic Mike. That was before I had Wendy's made to crave chicken sandwiches. Now I know I can do better than basic. Upgrade from basic with three new sandwiches on Wendy's made to crave menu. The barbecue chicken sandwich, avocado BLT chicken sandwich, and the sauce and bacon chicken sandwich. At Wendy's, we got you. I need to take a long drive at exactly the speed limit.
The Game of the Week on the Valley Channel is brought to you by Icon Health and Fitness, changing lives with fitness innovation. Wendy's of Cache Valley, it's way better than fast food, it's Wendy's. Mountain Star Cache Valley Hospital, together we're greater. New Smile Dental, experience dental care. Cache Valley Hearing and Audiology, bring back what you've been missing. Palmer Home Furnishings, our low overhead means higher quality at lower prices. Aspen Dental, get that gorgeous smile you've always wanted. KSM means music, music is all we do. Four Seasons Apartments and Townhomes is your home. Anderson Seed and Garden, growing better gardeners. Factory Pizzeria, we're open late after the game. The Logo Shop, we logo stuff, all kinds of stuff. And the Valley Channel, Cash Valley's TV station for over 25 years. Welcome back to Green Canyon. Eric Olson with you tonight as we're at halftime, just getting ready to start the third quarter. Green Canyon leads Bonneville 30 to 20 at the half. McKay Jorgensen paced all scores with 10 points. Bonneville was led by Jordan City with seven. Jerem Strat had uh, Strait had six, two apiece for uh, Dixon, Tesh, and Burdett off the bench, and one point for Caleb Nielsen. We mentioned Jorgensen with 10, 9 for Carter Mon, 6 for Cade DeBoard, 5 for Cole DeBoard. Nobody else scored. Those three double digit average scores doing all the scoring for Green Canyon, and they lead by 10. DeBoard has his shots swatted out of there. Cade DeBoard gives to Carter Mon. Marn, Marn finds Jorgensen, looking down low. He lobs in into Robinson. Robinson's under the bucket, goes around the other side and is fouled. He was in a tough spot under the bucket. He got bailed out on the foul by Nielsen for Nielsen, his second foul. And Robinson will go to the line. He's 0 for 1 from the free throw line tonight. Yet to score, he's blocked a couple of shots. Been a presence in the middle at six foot six. Averages five points per game and he gets his first one on the first free throw. And he hits both and that matches the largest lead of the game for Green Canyon. They've still got their press on. Bonneville gets it across the timeline. Tesh has to put it back behind his head and kind of shoot it awkwardly as the defense was there. Robinson closed out on him. And it was a miss and Green Canyon with a chance to go up 14 or even 15 with a three pointer. Cade DeBoer working on Dixon. DeBoer step back, won't go. Had that rocker dribble going. Mon gets in there, knocks it out of bounds. It's knocked out of his hands out of bounds by one of the Lakers. Green Canyon basketball with 6.56 to play in the third and Green Canyon leading 32-20. They'll toss it inbounds underneath their own basket. Mon out for Jorgensen. Jorgensen spins right, finds the bucket. McKay Jorgensen with 12 right on his average for the evening. It's average for the season is 12, and he's got 12 tonight. 34-20. Bonneville holds, looking for some offense. Only 20 points in that first half. Seven in the first quarter. Dixon, three, won't go. Mon looking for the rebound. Loses it out of bounds. And looks like it should be Green Canyon ball, and it is. I've got Green Canyon down with only two turnovers in this game. Extremely unofficial stats, but that's what I've got. Jorgensen bumps into Straight. Straight just picked up his third.
He stays in there. Robinson tries to back him down. Out front to DeBoard. As the DeBoard brothers play catch with it. Good defense by City. They set it up again. Monoville known for their defense. Robinson down low, puts it off the glass. Fights for his rebound, gets his own board, jump ball. And the possession arrow favors Bonneville. Green Canyon with that full court pressure. Tesh and Dixon work to bring it up. Good defense by the Wolves as Nilsson tried to get to the bucket. Got by one defender and another came over to help and he had to get out of there. Down low they go to straight, straight. Ducks his shoulder to the left, or to the right, and sweeps in with a little hook. Straight with eight points. Five minutes to play in the third, 34-22, Green Canyon. Jorgensen, the leading scorer on the night, he's got a dozen. DeBoer steps back, misses, rebounded by Strait. City. Comes off the screen, pulls up from the angle and hits. Jordan City with nine. 34-24. Back to a 10-point Green Canyon lead after the Wolves had led by 14. A little mini run. DeBoard launches, misses it short. City quickly the other way. Challenges DeBoard, and Cole DeBoard picks up the foul. That's the second for Cole DeBoard. Cade Board averages 16 points. He's got six here tonight. One three-pointer. He averages three and a half of those per game made. City hits the first, cuts the Green Canyon lead to single digits. Now another to bring Monoville with an eight, and he does it. 34-26. Green Canyon, four minutes to play in this third quarter, midway through the third quarter. Jorgensen all the way to the rim and Straits there to block it away. He tried to underhand scoop it past Straits. And Straits 6'7", and he's got long arms. And the junior knocks it away. Lundeen into the ball game with the ball. Jorgensen against Dixon. Spins left, lay it up, won't go. He's going to the line. Dixon picks up his second. Third team foul for Bonneville. Jorgensen's three for three, now four for four from the free throw line. Looking for point number 14. Coach Dan McClure wants a timeout after the made free throw. 36-26. Green Canyon was led right from the outset. Carter Mon took the opening tip. Robinson tapped it out to him and He took off and went right to the rim and it took Green Canyon all of about three seconds to take the lead and they've never given it up. 14 their largest lead and they now lead by 10. Bonneville takes on Fremont on the 27th so next week is the next game for Bonneville so they've got some time to rest after this one as does Green Canyon. Next up for them, the Burley Tournament on January 2nd, so the 2nd through the 4th. So they got a bit of a break before they play up in Burley. 
Then they open region 11, 11 play at Ridgeline on the 10th of January. Bonneville trails by 10. Nielsen with the ball. Tesh looks in. Can't get it into straight. So back out front, they set it up again. Double high post. Straight. Gives it back to City. City works on Jorgensen. City puts it up. Rims around and off. Rebounded by Lundin. Lundin, season opening, kicks it back out to Mon. DeBoard fakes the three, out to Jorgensen. Long three, why not? It's McKay Jorgensen's night. It's his world. We're all just paying rent. 17 for Jorgensen. 39-26, Green Canyon. Straight hands off to Dixon. City looking low to straight. Gets it to him. Nice entry pass and straight lays it in soft. Straight with 10. DeBoard firing up a three. Rims out. Rebounded by straight. 39-28. Green Canyon. 2.15 to play in the third. And Bonneville... Trying to claw back into it. Nielsen misses and Mon with the rebound. Wolves run. Mon kicks it back out to Jorgensen on the trail. Lundin spins and walks. Lundin spun. And the contact he thought he was going to get wasn't there. And he kind of hopped. Lundin brings a physical element off the bench for this. Green Canyon team, which I think is actually good. He comes in and plays a little bit bigger than he is. He gets his nose in there looking for rebounds. Straight works against Robinson. Blocked by Robinson. DeBoer tries to track it down, and we've got a jump ball situation, and that'll be Green Canyon basketball. So Robinson, I believe that's his third block of the night. I would like for one day just to see what it would be like to be six foot six. Which is what Robinson is. Lundin loses the handle, gets it back. Finds DeBoard. DeBoard can't handle a pass with a lot of mustard on him, and Robinson's there to save it. And now DeBoard has it in the corner. Lundin looks low to Robinson. Robinson spins left, left hand hook, good. Robinson putting in some work. Four points here in the third, 41-28. Green Canyon, one minute to play in this third period. Dixon's left wide open for three, won't go. Straight over to boards back, he knocks it out of bounds. And Alder will replace Jorgensen, who sits down with a pile of points. He's got 17. Now Bonneville with some pressure. As we're under a minute, Mon back to Alder. Lundin. Bounce pass to Robinson, loses the handle, but gets it back. Mon out front. Down low, Robinson's in trouble. Leans back, scores. Caleb Robinson with six in the quarter, six for the game. 15 point lead for Green Canyon, their largest advantage. 15 seconds to play in the quarter. 
Dixon backs it out against Lundeen. He picks up the screen, works on Robinson, kicks it back. Here's City with two seconds. One, Tesh fires, misses. Another big quarter for Green Canyon and they've opened up a nice little lead to head to the fourth with 43-28. Green Canyon on the game of the week on the Valley Channel. Over the period of time, my hearing became worse and worse. Over the course of the years, I developed a, a hearing loss, and I would not be able to hear my employees talk to me sometimes. For Paul Dings and Cash Valley's integrity, his character, his background, his equipment, I would recommend him to anyone for a hearing aid specialist. In Utah, taking the lead is always greater than following. And being empowered is always greater than being restricted. That's the Mountain Star way too, where each one of us has the freedom to do what's right every time. Right for patients, right for their families. Mountain Star is more than a healthcare system. It's real care focused on your needs. Mountain Star, together we're greater. Hey guys, if you've been thinking about a guitar or any other instrument in mind for you or somebody else, we have some great financing options from 6 to 12 months. Yamaha's doing a 12 month plan right now. Come in, get some time to pay it off and have no interest for up to a year. Hi, I'm Brett with Palmer Home Furnishings. Hey, come in and make a thousand dollar purchase and we're gonna give you an Al's gift card worth a hundred bucks or a jumbo banana chair worth a hundred and fifty dollars. Back at Green Canyon, Eric Olson here with you tonight as we head to the fourth. 43-28, Green Canyon outscoring Bonneville 13-8 in that third quarter. They've outscored Bonneville every quarter. 11-7, 19-13, and then 13-8. Talk about it all the time. Single-digit quarters will kill you in high school basketball. One isn't great, but you can overcome it. Two, and I don't have the actual number the actual statistic, but I will bet that it will show two single-digit quarters in a high school basketball game means that you're mostly going to lose. And that's two single-digit quarters for Bonneville, and it's easy to say when they face a 15-point deficit. <laughs> that's going to be awfully hard to overcome that in eight minutes. They haven't shot particularly well tonight. For debt. Gets free underneath, nice job moving the ball around for Bonneville. And it's 43-30, Green Canyon. Here's a turnover. The fifth of the game for the Wolves. Dixon at the other end, up under in. Fancy schmancy, oh, they heard me talking. Now they're going on a little mini run. 15 point leads down to 11 for Green Canyon. We've played 45 seconds. Jorgensen. Trying to get to the bucket. He's impeded. It looks like the foul is going to be on City. His second. And he's just picked up his third. Jorgensen went up to get it, and City, too much contact. So City averaging 14 points a game. He's got 11 tonight, but that's his third foul. And that's the fifth team foul on Bonneville. Only one on Green Canyon. Same play. This time, Green Canyon turns it over. Back-to-back -back turnovers, back-to-back -back possessions by Green Canyon. City in the middle. Fader goes. 
see if Coach McClure asks for a timeout. He's going to let him play through it as the 15-point lead is down to nine. They've been outscored 6-0 here in the early part of the fourth quarter. 43-34, Green Canyon. 6.40 to play in the ball game. Jorgensen has 17. Turns back from left to right, misses, rebounded by Lundin as Robinson kept it alive. Lundin underneath, working on City with three fouls, and he kicks it back out. Jorgensen against Dixon. Jorgensen hasn't poked away another turnover. Three turnovers in the quarter, seven for the game for Green Canyon. They lead by nine, but a 6-0 run to start the fourth by Bonneville, and that one dribbles off the front of the iron. Would have cut it to seven. And Green Canyon coach Dan McClure finally takes a timeout and said, all right, that's enough of letting you play through it. Let's talk about this thing. Kyle Bullinger has that last layup attempt dribbled off the rim. He did half a hop and put his hands on his head like, oh, that was the one. Well, I talked early in, the, in our intro and early in the game about this being the last game of the week of the decade. Yeah, we'll get the 20s. The Roaring 20s started right with a game uh, on the 3rd of January at Ridgeline as Westlake comes into town to take on Ridgeline. The rest of our schedule for January will be at, Ma at Logan as Mountain Crest takes on Logan on the 10th of January at Mountain Crest as Bear River and Mountain Crest clash on the 17th. We'll see Mountain Crest again against Skyview. Skyview at Mountain Crest, one of the older rivalries in the Valley. And then on the 31st of January, Ridgeline at Green Canyon. Couple of games in February, then it'll be playoff time. 5.40 to play in the ball game, a nine point Green Canyon lead. They led by 15 at the end of the third. They haven't scored yet here in the fourth. Mon puts his shoulder down, goes to the rim, misses. Rebounded by Nielsen. So the drought continues for Green Canyon. Dixon looks down to straight. Now gets a better passing angle, and Mon's doing a good job of trying to push straight off of the spot, and so they have to restart the offense. Now straight high post takes it against Mon. City around the screen, working on Jorgensen. City, pull up, miss it, rebounded by DeBoard. Cole DeBoard hands out to Cade DeBoard, and here's Mon on the other end. Mon. The corner to Smith, back to Jorgensen. Jorgensen to the rack, takes the contact. He'll go to the line. Are they going to say it was on the drive or on the bucket attempt? They're going to say it was on the drive. And Straight just picked up his fourth. Coach Bollinger with a decision to make and he doesn't uh, bring anybody in off his bench. He's not sending anybody to the scoring table. Four fouls for straight the big man with 4.45 to play in the game in a nine point ball game. Green Canyon led by as many as 15. It's down to nine. Here's another near turnover. We've played almost half of the fourth quarter and Green Canyon has yet to score. They've been outscored 6-0 in the first three and a half minutes of the fourth. Mon into Jorgensen. They clear out for Jorgensen. Mon, long three. Rims around and out, rebounded by Tesh. Tesh hands off to Dixon. Back to Tesh. Right side, he looks to drive on Jorgensen. Turns up and under, and one coming for Tesh. And a chance to cut it to a six point advantage for Green Canyon. Tesh with his first bucket since the first quarter. He's got four in the game. 
His first free throw attempt coming up. He misses, but rebound tracked down by Nielsen. It's a seven point lead for Green Canyon. They haven't scored in the fourth. They've been outscored eight to nothing. Bonneville with a chance to inch even closer. They look down to straight on the low left block. He turns to his left, bullies his way in and misses. Rebounded by Mon. That was a tough shot. If Straight would have hit that, he would have earned it. DeBoard keeping him off the line. DeBoard's travels. He's moved his feet before he put it on the floor. Four turnovers now for Green Canyon. They had four the entire game up until the fourth quarter. Now they've had four in the fourth. Robinson back in. Smith will sit. Smith, the sophomore, putting in some minutes tonight. Had, did not score. Picked up a couple of fouls, played some D. Seven point lead for Green Canyon City. Misses, rebounded by Mon. Now Jorgensen holds. Oh, Tesh nearly comes up with it. Jorgensen, three, yeah! Jorgensen with 20. And he stops the bleeding and makes it a 10 point advantage again with three minutes to play in the ball game. 46-36 Green Canyon. Dixon doesn't take the three behind his back, throws it away. Seventh turnover for the Lakers. Both these teams have taken care of the ball pretty well. This fourth quarter has not been much of a clinic in ball security for Green Canyon, though. They've had four turnovers. Cade DeBoer tries to sneak back door, and Cole DeBoer throws it away. There's five turnovers in the quarter. Tesh tries to split the double team. He walked. Eighth turnover for Bonneville. 2.35 left in the ball game. It's a 10 point lead for Green Canyon. It was 15 at the break. Bonneville cut it down to seven, had a chance to get it closer than that a couple of times, but couldn't do it. Jorgensen goes to the rack. He leads all scores with 20. Straight denies him. And it's out of bounds off of straight. Jorgensen looks down low to Mon, who's behind the backboard. Two minutes to play. Cade DeBoard has not had a great shooting night. He averages 16 points a game. He's got six. Here's Cole DeBoard, three. In and out. <laughs> did everything but fall through. That would have been the dagger. Tesh hands back to Dixon. In the corner, Nielsen. They close out on him, force him into trouble. Tesh back to straight. Robinson blocks it, but he got part of straight's arm. Robinson with the foul, his first, only the second team foul on Green Canyon. There's 129 left to go in this ball game. 46-36, Green Canyon, and straight with two free throws. Misses the first. Straight has 10 points. Robinson will sit down and Alder comes back in. Ball handlers and free throw shooters. Straight misses them both. Mon, it's knocked out of bounds. That should be Bonneville ball, it is. Mon, Mon protests, but he's not right. <laughs> Robinson will come back in, so offense, defense substitutions here. Robinson will come back in for defense. Dixon, hands into straight. Now Nielsen. Tesh back to Nielsen. Coming off the curl is City. His three is good. He's got 16. 
City with his second triple of the night. He's got 16 points, nine here in the second half. It's back to a seven point game. Green Canyon leading 46-39 and Bonneville takes a timeout. Green Canyon was running away with this thing and then the fourth quarter started. Dan McClure is in his third year. Green Canyon projected to be second behind Skyview in the region this year. Coming off a good season, 18 and six last year. They were first in region 12, they were eight and two, and they lost by two points to Payson in the quarters. Jorgensen, Mon, and Lundeen all part of that team. And now they are the engine that drives this team now. A couple other stats to share with you. We talked about Cade and Cole DeBoard. Cade DeBoard's ninth in 4A in scoring, only six points tonight. Carter Mon is tied for sixth in 4A in steals, two per ball game. So they lost some good players, but they still have some pretty darn good players here at Green Canyon. Our last game of the year is Green Canyon and Skyview. That could very well be for the region title. Still a lot of basketball to play. Region hasn't even started yet. Jorgensen across the timeline. DeBoard back to Jorgensen to Alder, and now Mon holds it. One minute to play, and they finally foul. Coach Bullinger wanted a double dribble, and then he called for the foul. He wanted a double dribble out there on Mon, I believe. And instead, we're in the bonus. One and one coming for Alder. Alder's not on the board tonight. He goes to the line, misses. There's a takeaway and another foul for Bonneville. It'll be DeBoard shooting free throws this time. Cole DeBoard with five. He hasn't scored here in the fourth. In fact, only three points in this fourth quarter for Green Canyon. That was the Jorgensen triple. But they still lead 46-39 with 50.7 seconds to play. Chance Red comes into the ball game and Bauer sits. DeBoard makes the first. Cole DeBoard was a big part of that Skyview team last year, title team. Now playing, playing a few miles south here at Green Canyon. 48-39. City's bumped in a foul before the shot. The foul's on Jorgensen. His second. So it's been Jorgensen's night. He's got 20 points to lead all scorers. City with 16 for Bonneville. Inbounds play, nice play to Tesh and he misses. And they have to foul Jorgensen. And Jorgensen with a chance to go put this ball game away. Put this game in their pocket, head into Christmas. Dancing sugar plums, et cetera, et cetera. Jorgensen's five of five from the line and I jinxed him. And rebound by Alder. And there's Dixon with the foul on Cade DeBoard. Cade DeBoard with six points, averages 16 a game, only six tonight. None here in this second half as Lundeen gets set to check in. DeBoard hits the free throw. The 
the board hits them both. Lundin comes in and the board takes a seat. 50 to 39, Green Canyon's gonna cruise to their fifth win of the season. They'll improve to five and three. Bonneville will drop to four and five. Here's a three on the way from Red, too hard, rebounded by Mon. With 15 seconds left, he's gonna see if Bonneville was gonna foul, and they do. An 11 point lead for the Wolves and Cole aboard. who's two for two from the line, goes back there for two more. Only one field goal for Green Canyon here in this fourth quarter, but they had a 15 point lead to start the quarter. They watched it dwindle down as that's the fifth foul for Nielsen. That lead got down to as many as, as low as seven. And Bonneville had the ball with a chance to get even closer, but they missed on successive possessions. And then Jorgensen hit a three that pushed it back out to 10. And for all intents and purposes, it was over after that. And they've gone six for seven as Green Canyon down the stretch here on from the free throw line. City leans in, misses. Fights for the rebound, DeBoard comes out with it with three seconds to play in the game and Green Canyon is gonna win. They're gonna improve to five and three as they beat Bonneville 52 to 39 behind 20 points by McKay Jorgensen. We hope you enjoyed the game of the week on the Valley Channel. Happy holidays, we'll see you next year on the game of the week. The game of the week on the Valley Channel is brought to you by Icon Health and Fitness, changing lives with fitness innovation. Wendy's of Cache Valley, it's way better than fast food, it's Wendy's. Mountain Star Cache Valley Hospital, together we're greater. New Smile Dental, experience dental care. Cache Valley Hearing and Audiology, bring back what you've been missing. Palmer Home Furnishings, our low overhead means higher quality at lower prices. Aspen Dental, get that gorgeous smile you've always wanted. KSM means music, music is all we do. Four Seasons Apartments and Townhomes is your home. Anderson Seed and Garden, growing better gardeners. Factory Pizzeria, we're open late after the game. The Logo Shop, we logo stuff, all kinds of stuff. And the Valley Channel, Cash Valley's TV station for over 25 years.